I'm so, so excited because today I have a ginormous art haul. I can't even believe it. I'm so excited. First art haul of this channel. And yeah, so I'm going to start off with my first category, and that would be paper. So starting off, I got two sketchbooks. And these are the Montmartre sketchbooks. I actually already opened one of them and used quite a couple of pa pages. I may actually do a mini sketchbook tour because I've really, really, really been working on the sketchbook. And it's only been like two days. And then I also got a second one just in case I run out. They are 5.8 .8 by 8.3 inches. There are 80 pages, which means 160 sheets, and they're 110 GCM. They're also acid-free. I'm super, super excited, and yeah, I'm really happy because my previous sketchbooks have not been actual sketchbooks. This is my first actual sketchbook, so yeah. Now, after that, I also got some black paper because I got some pens that go on it. And this is just a cheap black paper pad. I didn't get anything fancy like a Canson pad just because I'm not going to be doing actual art on it. So, let's open it up. And this is actually really thick paper over here. And this is just normal printer paper quality. Nothing big. And I actually swatched a couple of markers on it and... It works super, super nice. So I'm really happy with this black paper. I'm super excited to start using it. Okay, so after paper, the next category is pens. Because I don't usually get single pens. I just get like ballpoint pens and packs. But this time I got fine liners and all that. So let's get started with, first off, my only pen pack. And this is a 12 pack of these 0.4 millimeter pens they come in 12 different colors and I actually really like them I swatched them out actually right over here and this is how they perform unfortunately they don't have an actual number on it and they're not waterproof unfortunately I tried it out and it did not work but you know what that's okay I'm super excited about these and they look really really nice they remind me of the Stedler Triplus fine liners so then i also got some single pens and these are like miscellaneous i guess i got one two three four five six seven eight nine nine pens so let's start off with the white ones and i know a lot of people say they love jelly roll white pens but i also know a lot of people that say uniball signo pens are a lot better and I just picked up two Uniball Signo Signos. This one's a bit dirty because I was using it with my watercolor. But this one's brand new. And yeah, I'm really excited to try these out. Again, I also did swatch these. And I swatched these on black paper. Let's open it up. It looks super, super nice and kind of reminds me of a paint marker. I'm super excited. And I got the broad tip because I know me personally, I would prefer a broad tip rather than a fine tip. And then speaking of jelly rollers, I got three jelly roll pens. Starting off with two metallic and one moonlight. So the two metallic ones starting off with gold because you have to have a gold pen. And then I got a silver one to match with the gold. And I also swatched these as I previously mentioned. This is how they look. They look super nice and I actually did actual swatches. The silver, my camera isn't picking up the silver too well, but it actually is super nice. And I really love the feeling of the Jelly Roll pens. It kind of made me regret not getting... um. A jelly roll white one but anyways and the last jelly roll pen I got was a moonlight one this is the type 10 there we go in focus there and it's it cut it's like an aqua kind of color and again I did swatches for this one it's super pretty I love this color and I'm really happy that I picked this one Okay, so jelly rollers out of the way. I got two fine liners. Um, I watch a YouTuber called Kat Valk, Kat Valk, and she says that her favorite fine liners are the Unipin fine liners. So I thought, you know what, why not pick a couple of them? Um, actually, only one. I don't know why I said a couple. Um, but I also swatched this. Oops, wrong. Oof. 
right here and it's the point three and i absolutely love it i see why she likes it so much and i also got a faber castell eco pigment one and i got watercolor on that as well because i was testing it out and i really really love this one they didn't have a point three so i got a point seven and honestly just so 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 nice pigmented and i wish i had gotten a point three as well and my last pen is just this miscellaneous one that doesn't have a name. Well, it does, but it's in Japanese, and I can't read Japanese, so, yeah. I mean Chinese, sorry. And yeah, so that's all for pens. Next, let's dive into drawing supplies. Starting off with tortillions. I finally got tortillions. I'm so, so happy. And while they were coming in the mail, unfortunately, they kind of came out of the box. And in the box, there was like this pink stuff, so it got on it. But whatever. They're super, super nice. I'm so excited to try these out. Just because I've never tried tortillons. I always just blend with Q-tips. And yeah, I'm super excited to try them out. And then my next drawing supply is a Faber-Castell needed eraser that I opened because I was way too excited. It's really, really nice, and I really like it, and I understand why everyone likes kneaded erasers. Okay, so next up, let's do pastels, and I got soft and oil pastels, starting off with oil pastels. The Faber-Castell oil pastels, and I've been really enjoying um, oil pastels. I'll actually show you a couple of drawings that I did. Now, these are not really good drawings or anything, but they're super, super fun to play with. Uh, the annoying thing though was it keeps leaking onto the other page but I made this like abstract kind of thing and I really enjoyed making it I really really like these oil pastels and it's a 36 pack and then I got soft pastels as well and I just got a small pack because I already have Prismacolor soft pastels but I just want a new pack so I got these and they're actually pretty nice and thick so I'm super excited I did swatches for these as well. It's hard to swatch soft pastels though, so that's just how it turned out. And yeah, this is by the company Armation. My camera does not want to focus today. I'm super, super sorry. Okay, so then the last thing from this video that I bought was watercolor. And you already saw me mentioning watercolor, so this is the only palette that I got. And I really, really like this palette. It comes with all the colors I need and such good quality. And yeah, this is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a giant thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite art supply was. And thanks again for watching. Bye, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed today's video.